Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome back to Exclusive Modest. Hope you have found that video. Today's episode is going to be on how to cut this lovely style you are seeing on the screen. It's an abaya style as you can see. And I'm making it of a dorset fabric to cut it out. This is the trimmings I'm using. This is a favorite trimmings, the shiny one, to make a design around the chest line, then at the um, flay part of the abaya. So, the first thing I'm going to cut out here is going to be the half cut. I'll fold the fabric into four. This is after folding the fabric into four. Leaving my zip allowance at the back that I take, I'm taking the shoulder measurement of 7.5 inches and here is it. <coughs> With the shoulder slant of one inch, then I'm going to slant it all to the center of both back and front using my ruler. After that, I cannot take my armor measurements to be um, 7.5 inches as well. Armor measurement, here is it. You can see that the half cut is a uh, 15.5 inches with the same allowance. So it's at this point I'm going to take my bust measurement to be 36 inches. So that is um, 9 in 4 places. It's going to be for 36 inches. And exit with the same allowance of two inches. But when the allowance is small, I can still add the allowance before cutting it out. And the waist measurement is 30, that is a uh, 15 inches, that's into two, then into four is, is going to be 7.5 inches. Here is it with the same allowance of um, let me make use of two inches then add one to this area to make it three inches then i'm going to connect it together at the waistline I make it of two inches at the bust line i make it of three inches so this is how it's going to be then this way just to have the straight line here then i'll connect the shoulders the shoulder to the ammo using my ruler as well like this the shoulder to the ammo this way before I can place my ammo core to bring out the shape of the ammo like this as you can see then I'll I'll trace it out this way after the tracing out then I cannot cut it out so I'll cut out the old length the whole shape to the full length of the half coat so, the next thing here is to cut out the neckline the neckline here i'll make it of three inches for the wideness of the neck three inches for the wideness of the neck then the deepness is going to be 1.5 inches i'm going to connect it like this by cutting it out then i cannot cut out the first neckline the front neckline so i'll go down with uh, two inches two inches is here so two inches plus 1.5 inches making 3.5 inches for the front and 1.5 inches for the back so the next thing i'm going to do here is to take that the dart measurement i know the dart measurement is the distance of the two bust which is a uh, 3.5 inches since this is in food so when you open it it's going to give you seven inches that's the distance of the two bust for this particular measurement so we are done with this the next thing we're going to do now is to sketch out the design for the front so i want to take the midpoint from this point so the length here is 12 inches the, the midpoint is going to be six inches so this is how i'm going to start my design so the distance is going to be 1.5 inches so by the time i open it it's going to be three inches you understand this is 1.5 inches 
so at this point and that point i'm going to slant it like this then like this so let me do that and show it to you you can see As you can see, so it will be on that line that we're going to place our trimmings on just to give us that sample on the main dress. So that is how I'm going to be taking my distance. This is another distance of 1.5 inches. You can see 1.5 inches that I'm trying to, I'll be coughing it like this, like the way I did for the first one. So this is after sketching it, you can see the design I sketch out. So I'm going to make use of these trimmings, like I said earlier, of placing it on each line, then stitch it down. So let me go and stitch everything down and show it to you. So this is what I'm going to use to cut out the cape on the abaya dress. This is folded into four, as you can see, this is into four. So to not get the videos, you need the length you know when you check out the cape is an high low cape and this is what we're going to use we we'll get our radius first to get your radius you take your length from the down part of the half court across the shoulder to the back that's how to get the length and then need to get the you are going to divide it into four and what i get there was uh 60 inches there by four it should give me 15 inches so i'm trying to some inches round after that i will not take the roundness then um maybe i can get my 15 inches so this is not giving me what i want i will not try to go down a bit so i can get my 15 inches the one i got for 14 inches now up to 15 inches so let me go down with half inch then i can get to 15 inches with that after this i cannot take the harness yes taking this now i think yeah this is 15 inches so the length of the cape also i'm making it of 15 inches down so that is i'm going to take one as well here is the cape this is how the cape looks like I'm still going to do a tutorial that I'm going to um, explain more how to get that particular cape properly because this fabric, the fabric I use there is not enough, so that's why it has draining and it's not full enough. So I'm going to my next tutorial is going to be on how to cut that. So this is after stitching down the trim is at the chest because see all the sketching that we that we sketch out, then we place our trimmings on it you can see how beautiful this turns too so this is the um 180 degree flay that we are joining to the half court to give us our full length welcome back this is after joining everything together you can see how beautiful this turns out you can see the flay part of the 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 dress you can see the straight sleeve I've done many tutorials on how to cut this particular straight sleeve, so you can check my channel for that. If you're watching for the first time, what are you waiting for? Just have to subscribe to my channel for more amazing tutorials. And for those who have already subscribed, I really appreciate you guys for watching my video only. See my next tutorial. Assalamu alaikum.